This is Bengals Nation with Coach Marvin Lewis, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. Party, party, it's a Bengals Nation. Welcome to Bengals Nation here from the Holy Grail. Bob Herzog alongside Jen Dalton. Glad you could be with us this week. A week ago, Jen, you see what I'm doing? I'm biting, I'm biting. There's none left. It was nerve-wracking. A nail-biter in Buffalo, and yet the win happened. That's right. It was so exciting, and tonight is going to be exciting as well. We're going to be getting you ready for the big game tomorrow against the Detroit Lions, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. The fan games are back. We love those. We have the banquet tick toe toss we have the bud light football toss oh. and we have the cincinnati sports leagues football flicker toss. up on the eichler golf car stage tonight a really great band called here come here and then brad and coach are going to be talking about the kia key player of the game it was a tough one to pick this mm -hmm. week and then at the cincinnati bell autograph table we have the one the only the ginormous Margus Hunt. He's huge. Margus. He's lovely. What a nice man. Margus. He does seem like a nice guy and just gigantic. I would say he was nice <laughs> even if he wasn't. But uh, he is nice. And, you know, Brad and Coach, we mentioned them. They're hanging out. They're ready to talk a little bit. And, Brad, I got to tell you, kind of an ugly win, but absolutely love getting those W's. Yes, Bob, a win is definitely a win. We will talk about the win in Buffalo. Marvin will break it down for us and talk about how he's going to get another one at the NFC North leading Detroit Lions. We'll go through all of that. Last week, this week, break everything down for you. First, let's send it back to the Holy Grail. Mike's got a special guest. All right, thanks a lot, Brad. Tonight, we're joined at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table by the big defensive end, rookie Margus Hunt, second-round pick out of SMU by the Bengals just this last spring. And this is a guy who really stumbled upon the game of football when the track and field program at SMU went away. We'll have more on that with Margus later on in the show. In the meantime, we'll send it back to you and the coach. Mike, thanks very much. Marvin, we have talked about it all year long. Your team's resilient, and they had to be resilient in Buffalo again. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, we put ourselves in that position again uh, where we had to probably win the game two or three times at the end. So, um, But uh, what you liked about it is the fact that our guys uh, I knew when we got to overtime it was time to go to work and uh, close this thing out the correct way. Well, they did close it out, and we will talk about the closing out period in Detroit. First, let's find out what the players have to say in the locker room about facing the Lions. This group's no different. And, uh, you know, and so the key is going to be going out there and playing effective and, and uh, not getting caught up in the whole deal of how good they are or aren't because the truth is they're just the next team and the next group of D-line and uh, there's a lot of good ones. Time now for the Kia Key Player of the Game brought to you by the Greater Cincinnati Kia Dealers and there were many to choose from in Buffalo but we went with a guy who got his first right Brad? Yeah Jen you have a productive day reach your first in a career you're our guy, player of the week, wide receiver Marvin Jones. Every time he touched the ball on Sunday, he was electric. Three catches, 71 yards, one carry on a reverse. That went for 34. It's the first game of Marvin's 17-game NFL career where he's gone over 100 all-purpose yards. Coach, we talk about Marvin Jones. He is now, I guess, officially a full year in, 17 games in, so uh, he's no longer officially a rookie. And, and what he did Sunday is something that you have seen certainly before Sunday, but can fans expect something like that? This uh, something that you expect on a regular basis from well, 82? We really do. We, we expect uh, Marvin is a very explosive player. Uh, he's got great speed. He's got all the leaping ability. He's got the uh, uh, wherewithal and the, the knowledge to learn, and, and you can put him in different spots and obviously the athleticism to make uh, you know explosive plays. Well, he makes some explosive plays. You get some help from Sanu. You get some help from Gio. You, you get a great catch from Sanzenbacher. And A.J. Green said in the locker room afterwards, when you've got a lot of guys that you've got to deal with, it makes my job a lot easier. And certainly that's one of the goals is to make A.J.'s job a little easier. Yeah, that's the thing is the, you know, the quarterback has to deliver the ball into the weakness of the coverage, and, uh, and somebody's going to get one-on-one -on -one looks. And, uh, and Andy did a good job of finding the one-on-one -on -one look, and our one-on-one -on -one guys won. We kind of talked about it at the end. The defense certainly made some big plays when they had to, and then the defense kind of faltered in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts on, on the defensive? Well, I think you got to look at the, the task at hand, and that's what we have to really focus on, is when you get in that situation defensively, you got to play the fourth quarter with both your feet and your mind. And you got to understand uh, what the offense has to do, and we've got to work harder at just taking that away and making them do something they don't want to have to do in order to beat you. When we see you next, we're going to be in the team room. We're going to break down some of the plays that mattered in this one. First, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Jay. 
thanks, Brad, is in an afternoon game and he's just run out of lunch options. We'll try one of Banquet's new lunch entrees, including three cheese ziti, fettuccine alfredo, cheesy rice and chicken, queso mac, and cheesy potato bake with bacon. Banquet, so good for so little. Time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Margus Hunt. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim. We're here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table with rookie defensive end Margus Hunt. Margus really just began playing football in college when the track and field program at SMU kind of went away, and it was your throws coach who suggested, hey, why don't you try football? Certainly worked out for the best, hasn't it? Well, yeah, to say the least. I mean, it actually was kind of a gradual uh, thing because uh, whenever I was lifting in the weight room, the football coaches were always there, and they kind of urged me to, you know, try out and do this or that. And then, I mean, eventually I had to get my tracks, track coaches, like, blessing to kind of, uh, you know, do that tryout with them. And he was... Uh, he was all on board, and he, you know, he's been extremely supportive ever since, you know, the past four years. So it's been a great, great time. Marcus Hunt, our guest at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table. Much more with the rookie defensive end later on in the show. It is time for the Banquet Pot Pie Tic-Tac-Toe game, our first fan game of the night. I've got Mike from Delhi. I've got Harold from Cincinnati. Here's how the whole thing works. Mike, I'm going to give you the Banquet logos. You're going to try to get three in a row there. Harold, you're getting bangles. You're going for three in a row. Winner gets the gift card. Y'all set? Yeah. Mike, get us going. Oh, one and one. Oh, oh that's interesting. That's three in a row for Mike. Congratulations. Harold, good game. Nicely done. The gift card is going to you. May you enjoy your pot pies and good health. As here come here, send us to break. Stay with us here on Bengals Nation. So much more. Marcus Hunt will take fan questions. Brad Marvin at the Telestrator. And the Bud Light football toss is on the way. It's all coming up on Bengals Nation. Try, try Welcome back to Bengals Nation, sponsored by the Holy Grail. Jen here again, reminding you to come on down to the Holy Grail, your home for all Bengals games, both home and away, with 30 HD TVs, surround sound, great food, and bucket specials. This is the place to be for all Bengals games. Your search is over. You found the Holy Grail. Time now to send it back to Brad and Coach. They're at the Telestrator. Jen, thanks very much. We are in the team room now. Coach has uh, set up some plays for some teaching purposes for us, so lead the way. I do, Brad. I start with defense today. Here we got third and six. You see in the third quarter, uh, we're ahead 17-10. Uh, really pivotal play. They've got the ball about midfield here, and it's a big down here. You see great coverage here. Uh, we're able to match up and play great coverage and get outside leverage here and take away where he wants to go with the ball here. A little press-out option route to their tight end here. And uh, so we forced the quarterback to run. Carlos, good hustle from the backside, comes across, and you see strips the football there. And uh, Vontez there gets on the ball and recovers it. So if you look at it from behind, uh, you can see, again, a pretty good rush where we're getting him to move off the spot. We've got the guy corralled over here that he wants to throw to. And then Carlos coming here backside, hustling, and then stripping the ball and knocking it out of his hand. Uh, the next play I have here, again, is in the run. Uh, again, we talked about the option and the things we had to defend. Uh, we struggled in some areas because we'd just be in the discipline, but you see us dropping down, inserting over there again. Uh -huh. And then now we've got to play the play away. And a good job here by Michael Johnson of staying outside. He's kind of working through the holding there and, uh, and is able to, to make the play. You see from behind what it looks like. So we've got to get front side here. Now, Vontez takes the easy way, kind of goes underneath, but is able to get back outside. Michael makes the play here coming off and then the finish there. So that's a good job defensively. All right. And then going to offense here, uh, we got a, a play here, the, the screen uh, out here to uh, Marvin. We, again, want to make sure we try and deliver a good football, good, easily catchable ball, but good block here by Mosinu. Kick out, kick out, collapse right there, and now we're going to run right down that lane there. And you see just like running down the highway. Uh, we, we got a good run and, and carry. So you can see it from behind how it's set up. 
guys now Annie's got to throw over the pressure but you see we got the kick out there we got the trap here and the block back here and now we want to run right in between them so good job yeah Witt got himself downfield a lot on a couple of screens and then the last play here is again a uh, situation here we ran this play a couple of times this year we've got the seams up here okay and now we've got the isolation with Gio in the middle of the field uh, on the linebacker here and you see him make the play here taking the pass taking the check down from Andy making miss miss and now we get a block there push there and into the end zone is so. that mostly Andy improvisation or did he intend to see Gio in that well, no we, he's reading here yep. here here and if he doesn't get it he knows he's got the halfback sitting right over the football and that's what happens you can't you know distribute everything in this coverage beautiful works let's hope it works again in Detroit coach thanks right. very much uh, that's it for now we're going to talk to Detroit Lions from here on out for right now let's send it back to Mike we got a little Q&A all right Bengals Nation here we go time for your questions for Marcus Hunt now Marcus I know you're from Estonia discus the hammer how did you get into football well, I went to SMU to do track and field, but unfortunately, when I was going there, uh, I had to pay my own way because they didn't have the men's track and field program. So uh, I had to find the financial support, and I ended up finding one only for a year, though, and my brother-in-law uh, agreed to <clears throat> pay for one year's tuition. So once that year was over, we had to find a different way to stay there. So football kind of came into the picture, and uh, you know that's how it all started. What is your favorite thing to do before a big game? Well, I try to keep it simple. I mean, uh, when we're heading towards the stadium, I just you know listen to music and kind of once I get to the stadium, you know do a little bit of a warm up routine and uh, you know just keep keep myself calm. And I mean, it's uh, you can't get nervous when you go out there. <laughs> Yeah, how long have you been in the United States, and what's your favorite thing about living here? I've been here five years now, or six, I, five or six years, and uh, I mean, I've been enjoying every bit of it. It's it's a really great place to be. Uh, people are friendly, and uh, you know, it's it's definitely um, a place to better yourself. Which teammate do you think would fit in in Estonia? That is a tough one. Um, Probably, uh, probably the rookie T.J. Johnson. Uh, I mean, he's from South Carolina and he's a he's a country guy and all that stuff. So, I mean, that's what Estonia basically is. It's a it's a little country, but I mean, all there's to do is just kind of be country. <laughs> the Bud Light Ball Toss, and joining me this week is Jeremy from Withamsville. And Jeremy, here's how it goes. Normally we have six balls, and you have to get one in each one of the holes, but we have five. But I watch you warm up, and I believe in you, so you can do it. So I'm going to back out and let you go to town. Jeremy, I believe in you. He's got a good, he's got a good arm. Check out this guy and why he's doing that. Oh, so close. I'm going to remind you that the Holy Grail has great specials on buckets of Bud Light during Bengals games, so make sure you come down and check that out. They've also got 30 HD TVs, great food, and all kinds of fun. And as Jeremy is on his third toss, he's so close. We're going to wish him good luck on this one as well. Oh, there we go. We're getting you an extra one. Oh, so close. You know what? Jeremy from Withamsville, you were so close, so you get a Bud Light prize pack as well. Good job. Stay with us on Bengals Nation. Coach Marvin Lewis has what to expect out of the Detroit Lions and more from here come here on the Eichler Golf Car Stage. All coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation presented by Banquet Pot Pies. Everybody put your hands together. That is here, come here, up on the Eichler Golf Car stage. Sounding great for us tonight. They will be sounding great again at their next gig. That is coming up on November 8th at the Thompson House over in Newport. So you can check them out there. For more information on the band, you can go to their Facebook page find that all you have to do is go over to local12.com but for right now we're going to send things back over to brad brad you got to tell us a little bit about detroit and uh, hey go ahead and ask marvin if he can get me one of those old cars while he's there one with a crank bob thanks very much I i'm not sure i can convince you to get behind the wheel of a model t you have some decent transportation that you can you can deal with before that let's move into the line start with matthew stafford 
He's a big numbers guy. He can put up some big numbers. Is he a guy that can, by himself, change a game? Yeah, when, uh, when, when, when Matt is hot, he's an excellent quarterback, and uh, they're doing a better job of protecting him this season, so we got to get around him and get after him. Uh, the addition of Reggie Bush in the backfield has really made a huge difference for them. You go against uh, the top picks in the 2006 NFL draft and Mario Williams. Last week, you get uh, Reggie Bush. Uh, he is a spark for them. Uh, He's kind of what people are hoping Geo may turn out to be, or am I, am I kind of pushing it on that? Well, no, I think Geo has an opportunity to be a, a little sturdier runner uh, interiorly. Geo's built different than Reggie, and uh, so uh, Reggie's had a hard time uh, being that every down back. Now he is for Detroit here like he is, and uh, uh, he's doing a great job, but he's an excellent receiver of the football out of the backfield. Talk to me about Calvin Johnson, uh, Megatron, one of the best in the game when he's healthy. Is he a same impact kind of guy right now? Well, you know, he only played sparingly a, a week ago in Cleveland, so we probably will get more of him, I think, as he gets healthier and healthier. Uh, but, uh, but he's a big guy. He's got great straight line speed, and uh, he's a tough catch at the football. Of course, you'll hear about Indomik and Sue, uh, but they've got some playmaking uh, personnel on the defense. Can you talk about them at all? This is this 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 group has well, well put together defensive line. You know, you've got Fairley, Sue, and uh, and the other end that picked this year from BYU. They got three first rounders up front, right. three three early first rounders up front, and then uh, the kid who made it uh, and uh, who plays the other end. So they're well put together up there. They're explosive. The linebackers are uh, athletic guys, not overly big. Big guys, and uh, so we got to get after him. Secondary, um, it, it kind of been a revolving door in, in, in the secondary. Do they have any playmakers back there now? Well, you know, they've got some experienced guys in Houston and Mathis on the corner, and uh, and, and Dumas at safety. So we got to do a good job of uh, being smart and, and uh, be very, very uh, diligent in the pass game. Precise, I guess, would be the word in the pass game. Bengals take on the Lions Sunday afternoon. Sunday night, Sports Authority breaks it all down for you. Highlights, lap at the Telestrator, all of the plays that matter from every angle. That's on the Sports Authority right after Local 12 News on Sunday night. When we see you next, Marvin will have his must to take down to the Detroit Lions. First, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Mike. All right, thanks a lot, Brad. We're looking forward to hearing what Marvin's must is for tomorrow's game in Detroit. It's time now for our OU Get Educated segment. Tomorrow's game will feature two of the great young wide receivers in the NFL, the Bengals' A.J. Green and Detroit's Megatron Calvin Johnson. He missed last week's Detroit win over Cleveland. Limited in practice a bit this week, but likely to play tomorrow. Not the first time these two have shared the football field, but the last time they did, it was not in a game setting. It started when I, uh, the lockout year, um, you know, standing in Atlanta and, you know, just wanted somewhere to work out and uh, my home and I was working out there, so we all, I went out there for a couple days and, you know, met him and, you know, uh, you know, we been working out since then. Time for the final fan game of the evening. It's the football flick brought to you by Cincinnati Sports Leagues. And joining me tonight are Bianca and Jerry. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. ready. Oh, yeah, they're ready. All right, Bianca, why don't you step right on up there and take your first two chances. You can go to the 30-yard line. Oh, she's setting up well. She's got the hair for it. Oh, so close. That's all right. A little to the left. I feel it. This, oh, my goodness, you were so close, Bianca. Come on up, Jerry. You can go up to the 30-yard line there. Let's see if Jerry can get any closer. Bianca was so close. Oh, my gosh, he hit the field goal so close. The left, Jerry. Oh, they both were so close. This is a toss-up, but I'm going to have to give you the full prize because you did actually hit the field goal. Good job. More on the way from the Holy Grail on Bengals Nation. Mike has more with Marcus Hunt, and you can't miss Marvin's Must. All coming up on Bengals Nation. Bengals Nation presented by Banquet Hot Pies. If you have not heard about Cincinnati Bell's Phi Optic Services, you need to check them out. Enjoy over 375 crystal clear channels and internet speeds of up to 100 megabits per second. Call Cincinnati Bell to see if Phi Optic Services are available in your home. Certain restrictions apply and see store for details. Cincinnati Bell, powered by Phi Optic. Time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Marcus Hunt. Okay, thanks a lot, Jen. One last minute or two here with the rookie defensive end, Marcus Hunt, out of SMU. You're on a team that's 4-2, and two, likely to make a playoff push, maybe even push for the AFC North Championship. You're in first place as it stands now. What do you hope to bring to the football team over these last 10 weeks as you try to get over that hump? Well, we have a tough schedule coming up. I mean, we have, you know, Detroit this week, and then we have the Jets at home, and 
you know, Miami and Baltimore, and you know, the season gets uh, gets going. It, it, it's it's tough, and we have to take every week as it's the most important game of the of the year. So, if we focus on those things and just go out and play the the, the game that we're supposed to be playing, then. I mean, we can we can make a hell of a run this year. It certainly looked like that against Green Bay, New England, and of course last week in Buffalo. Rookie defensive end Marcus Hunt, our guest. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. All right, Coach. What's your must to take down the Lions? Two back to back on the road. Well, we got to get after it. <laughs> so it's going to be another physical war, and uh, so we're going to bring a big stick and get after it. So got to go. All right, bringing a big stick to Detroit. I like that. We appreciate you being with us, of course, every week. For everybody back at the Holy Grail, for Bob, Jen, and Mike. For the coach and myself, thanks for joining us at the Holy Grail and on Bengals Nation. Until next week, good day. Promotional consideration provided by Ohio University. It's you. Banquet, so good for so little. Cincinnati Sports Leagues, bringing you the best adult sports leagues, happy hours, and events in the city since 2001. Eichler, largest selection of big toys for big boys. Holy Grail, your search is over, you found the Holy Grail. Bud Light, an official sponsor of the Cincinnati Bengals. And Cincy Apparel, Cincinnati's premier supplier of custom t-shirts, corporate wear, and promotional products.